Oh, oh, oh. What do we have here? I knew it. Oh, hello, good sir. And uh, why do you wear this? Oh, you, you're it. Wait, wait, wait. You're I'm it. it. You're it. I am it, yes. Step back, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the Cyclops has got close, a spear. Doc. Don't get too close. Oh, yeah. You're <laughs> it. All right. So I was Indeed. just, you know, I came by here checking my shop as I do. Mm -hmm. And I see some dead fish here in the water. And I don't know if you saw Azizuma Void's latest video, but he reported, and as I did for weeks now, that we have a big fish problem. And I was thinking it might come from your stinking factory here. Look at that. I, I'm going to point out these fish are bobbing and moving around. They're having a good time. They're just swimming around there, Doc. Look at them. They're alive, yeah, right? Yeah, all belly up and, um, you know... They don't yeah, he might healthy. have a point, Scar. He might have a point. It's looking, it's looking like this is causing some environmental problems. I mean, look at all the dead coral around here. But I will point out that the, the shop right next to is doing just fine. Like it's, it's mm -hmm. still living coral over there. But Counterbalance. What I'm thinking is your um, pond here might be connected to the, our groundwater here on the server, and stuff is leaking out because I guarantee you, you will find no single living entity aside turtles. You know outside in the oceans here the turtles can breathe outside so i think they're not affected but mm -hmm. you know on top of the fishing we do all the time hmm, i think this is was the tipping thing and we need to take care of this problem i had reports from all kinds of other hermits wells came by said he's you know his ink shop is having trouble he can't find no squid you know you don't do you want to be the guys that you know really ruin the server for everybody i mean come on man yeah. Here, how about we turn a blind eye to all this pollution business and you get into the fish restaurant business with us. Look at this. We could turn this all into a profit. Doc, look at this. Think of this. We can have a fish, you know, restaurant. We sell the fish here. We will it's get perfect. Sued, we man. got a whole idea. We will get sued if we sell this toxic crap to the customers, man. I mean, you know, I don't know what the, the chlorine, chlorine chicken that Randog sells is for sure <laughs> also going to cause some trouble. But if you sell poisonous fish, I mean, come on, man. This is well. That's why we're a roving, like trendy restaurant. That's only like a pop-up restaurant. We just appear in a big city. Everybody lines up. They get our special fish. Next day, they they may have a little bit of a, a stomach problem. We're already gone out of town with our money. Look at these people. And you say the NHO is the evil guys. You you can't negotiate with you, Scar. You are. Cup seems to be a bit more reasonable. Although I cannot get too close to him with his stupid dunes head and stuff. <laughs> Come on, Cup. <laughs> You're more reasonable. It's the eyebrow. It's the eyebrow that really gets you. Don't yeah. you want to work with me, you know, fixing <laughs> fixing this issue? And we work some, work something out. I mean, you know, it's really... You don't want to be the guy, right? I, Scar seems to be like, I don't care. Oh, what are you flashing in <laughs> yeah, your head I mean, there? I think, I think this might not... I don't think it's going to cause a global problem, though. I think there might be something else at work, but I would be willing to at least temporarily plug up the toxins from mm. the from the factory here. What? Toxins? Doc's forgetting about things right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, okay. So how about, how about this? We, temporary, we temporarily block this off, like Cub said, mm -hmm. and we'll, we'll just see out. how it goes. Let's we'll just well, we'll see how it goes, Doc. As long as you, as you comply, I mean, you know, I mean, if there's some fish, I guess we're all right, right? I mean, I don't know. Well, how about this? Maybe we, we, we do the shop idea. Mm -hmm. It's Supreme Fish. You know, yeah. we pop up in New York. We pop up in London. You know, we do that. I think that's a good idea. Um, we'll also kink this off, you know, just, just for the publicity of being an environmentalist here. Right. You know, we're doing our part. We're doing our thing. Mm -hmm. And right. you'll just kind of for not point so many fingers at us because you have shiny things now in your hands. Well, okay. Let's, then let's you know, let's get rid of the problem. Let's throw some cleaning agents in the pond here and we should be fine. I thought you brought some. I think it's, yeah, yeah. it's working I've, already. I've tossed mine. It doesn't seem to be having much of an effect, though. There we go. Scar oh, got yeah. another one in there. That should, that should help out. That yeah, should help out. take a while to dilute, but yeah, should go mm -hmm. away. Aha! Look at that, guys. It's working. Oh. You see that? Yeah, there's already one. There's already one in here. Already yeah, a new fish. Wow. What is that? Oh, <laughs> oh uh, don't get too close. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, I'm in favor of the toxins if that thing stings me. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. But see, see, it should be working. I will go exploring on the ocean and see if, if sea life recovers. But that mm -hmm. went quick. See, just this little bit of. I think we. Could... Oh, 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 man. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, well, wow. that lasted long. Jeez. Did the fish 
just really swim into the cactus? <laughs> yeah. How did you... It went right in. Wow. It might take a little bit of time for the environment to recover, I'm guessing. Yeah. From, from, from that. <laughs> Still have some toxic, oh, toxic plants around here. Yeah, that was glorious. Um, okay, um, yeah, I guess I'll... I'll go around. I'm really happy for your cooperation. I hope uh, this continues um, like that. And I think, uh, you know, we can get away with that. I can tell the other hermits. Thank you, Scar. Um, we're good now. We fixed the problem. And yeah, I mean, can't see any issues for your factory. I hope the backdraw of toxic waste will not cause any further issues for you. But, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, first, Etho, stop that. Stop, stop that over there. Anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, oh, we're going to go organic here, Cub, right? We're going organic. Yeah, um, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll yeah, see if this right. actually fixes the problem first, I would say. Well, I mean, we're market-wise. Yeah. Market-wise, we're going to say we're, we're going organic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Doc over well, here, Doc is going to tell everybody yeah. how organic and fresh oh, we yeah. are. He's not going to understand mm -hmm. oh, yeah. you guys, any of the problems of the past. No, you guys Yeah, you yeah, guys keep are, it fair. Keep it fair. You guys mm -hmm. are clear. I mean, you are, I mean, totally complying with the NHO regulations. I, this is nothing. I mean, this is... We're, 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 right. we're best friends with the NHO now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, we may or may not have done a little spying for you guys in the past in prior seasons, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it didn't work out. Let's, let's, My recruitments didn't work out, but it's okay. Let's leave the old stuff in the past. You know, yeah. I, there's still rumors. That's why, that we, that's why we're NHO, forgetting about that stuff. Yeah, that's there's why. still rumors the NHO might be corrupt or anything like that. I have no idea where people, you know, come up with that stuff. And um, well, it might yeah. be the fact that one of your ghost members keeps trying to kill us. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with Ethan. Man. Relax, man. We cleared the pond, dude. You can chill. Jesus okay. Christ. You know, probably if the he, like, actually the real reason all the fish died is because Iso keeps spearfishing like a madman, <laughs> smiting that everything it, that moves around here, man. It's crazy. Hmm. Well, anyways, guys, I think we resolved this situation here. The fish should come back now. Hopefully no other offenders will cause another fish, uh, you know, extinction here. And I might have to find them too. I mean, I'm going to be a busy man watching out for the nature and, um, yeah. Um, let's talk soon, right, about this fish business. It might be interesting. Yep. Okay. Yeah, sounds good, man. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. All right, Doc. Enjoy your forgetful diamonds. Yes. And uh, we'll see you later. I Goodbye. Bye-bye. Captain Planet saves the day and makes all pollution go away. Captain Doc. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got tagged by the Hermitcraft recap, man. Thousands of you left a comment with Captain Planet because they started the new game of tag. Oh yeah, just saying, you know, the fish are back, we fixed it, guys. So never doubt the NHO again. Um, I knew it all along, it was Kapfen with his pollution and scar there. Vexcorp, ooh, oh, even the puffer fish are back. Everybody's back, look at them, all them fish. Hundreds of fish, all of a sudden. Yeah, relax, I'm leaving. Yo, chill, <laughs> chill, <laughs> chill. Yo, dude, I just saved you. Wow. So yeah, Captain Planet <laughs> was the tag. They were playing a new game, the, the Hermitcraft recap, guys. If you want, um, you know, go to iJavin in the next episode. But only when the Hermitcraft recap comes out, you know, I, I need to nominate him. So yeah, they're playing their own game of tag and they tagged me last time. Thanks for that. I was chilling and all of a sudden... My comment section was exploding and I was like, oh my god, what happened? Is something wrong? What did I do? And as to Captain Planet, Captain Planet, I was like, what the heck's going on? Who tagged me? What's Captain Planet? What? And then I saw the recap. So you guys, you sneaky guys of the recap team, well played, well played. And we'll get you back. We'll get you back one day. But for now, I'll play along. I, Javin, it is. He's the guy that sabotaged the NHO store, which funds all the operations we do here to protect the nature. And now who's right? Look at that. We saved the planet. The fish are back. Yeah. So now don't blame the NHO again. We have nothing to do with the pollution at all. We don't control it and we will not use it to maybe blackmail others in paying us diamonds. Not at all. That is not what the NHO would ever do. Talking about the NHO and what they do, well, today we should take care of our friend, of, of our new friend we made last time, Phantom Boy. <laughs> Still trapped in here. 
So it sure works. I mean, of course, that was not the easiest way to trap him, right? Last uh, time, uh, people were saying, my God, dog, why did you make it so hard on you? You know, why didn't you bigger, ba uh, make a bigger portal? Why didn't you this? Why didn't you even trap him in the, in the uh, nether like that? Well, uh, you know, as I say, when we play here on the Hermitcraft server, things just happen. And by chance, I discovered that you can trap them and keep them. So I used what I had. We didn't build a proper machine, a uh, setup to catch them, but I'll look into that for sure at some point. But I was thinking, well, here on our habitat, you know, close to the portal, because we got to move the portal to, tr you know, release them later easily. But I feel this is a good way um, to start here. We have some sort of, it's a little hill, little cliff side. And I was thinking we should, bu we should build a nice cave uh, yeah, for our friends, for our in <laughs> phantom friends later. So that means we need to dig out this place here and um, create a little bit of a cave. So I was thinking I have a little bit of TNT. Maybe we can stick it in there and, uh, you know, blow it up a little bit to help us excavate. Create a bigger bit of a bigger cave, like a spooky cave people can go into. And I think there is a really cool effect uh, to these phantoms we need to try out. So uh, first of all, man, I am starting already to bulk up again. I have just chests I dump stuff into, but it's happening already. I'm building up a big, big inventory and it's not getting smaller. All kinds of random crap I have on here already. All right, so I'm gonna start putting some more precious stuff in shulker boxes. Don't I have another shulker box? Yep. All right, so, man, yeah, we need a storage system. As soon as we, uh, that is not important stuff, but the name tags we put in here. Okay, this can go in the redstone chest. Yeah, as soon as we start settling down, we start building up crap. It's just what Minecraft is. In any case, I knew I had some TNT, I thought. Is it in the redstone chest? All right, a little bit. Let's take a few pieces and it'll help us. So I think we, where did we find that? In some chests or so, treasure chests, and some temple, I don't even know anymore. But we have it, that's good. A little bit. So let's see. Let's just blast a bit. Stick it somewhere back there. Let's see what it leaves us with. Not much. Sometimes I wish TNT would do a bigger boom. I really feel it could have a little bit more of a blast. You know, I mean, if you're working with uh, like solid rock here, it's just not doing that much. I mean, TNT minecarts, of course, they are more powerful. But you really need a lot of TNT to, you know, get something done when it comes to blasting out caves. But I like when you use TNT to blast out caves, what the shape ends up like. You know, it looks pretty natural often in the end. So yeah, four TNT blasted out this little bit here, but I think that is already a decent entrance to it. You know, kind of a lobby area here we could have maybe a bit of a welcome center and then it goes into the actual cave. And for the actual cave, I'm thinking we should maybe build some sort of elaborate door. Maybe make it a three by threes and uh, some sort of air hatch. You know, you go in, and then, um, then there's the cave. So we need some space in two doors, you know. You go in, edge opens, other door closes and so on. So never at the same time two doors are open. Maybe we make it simple etho doors or we make it a bit more uh, sophisticated. I'm not quite sure about that. But we'll hook it up here. So here we'll have a door maybe or probably it will sit here. And then say we give it three blocks or so and then there would be uh, another door right here and then we need to lead into the into the actual yeah, spooky cave phantom cave now the question is do we want to make it so people can actually die in there or trying to make it safe i'm not quite sure yet about that um, it would be cool if people could actually die and it would be really scary and you want people to kind of you know sleep beforehand and we make it even a little game we could call it Fun phantom run and it's a little parkoury 
thing and you need to make it through. I mean, you know, there's lots of potential there. So I don't know. I really want to get your feedback. We need space, that's for sure. So here is the door. And then we would go in here. Wait, what? Why do I hear mobs? Mushroom fields, really? Why do I hear mobs? And I hear skeleton. What? Why is there a cave with mobs? This is a mushroom island that should not be hostile mob spawning. I can only imagine it would not be part of the biome. Really close. It's still mushroom fields here. Why is there mob spawning? Huh? Because, you know, having the cave dark and not having mobs in there is kind of a big part of the whole dealio. Right. Oh, it's a spawner. Wait, but then it must be a skeleton spawner too. Because I could clearly could hear skeletons. They cannot spawn naturally. Or is inside the spawner, is it disabled? Holy moly, there's a whole welcome party in there. Why is there... A oh, relax. Okay, there is skeletons. Is there... Right, let's, let's dig around it real quick. What's happening here? Um, Oh, whoa, wait, wait, there is more cobble here. Yeah, yeah. We just found a double spawner. At least a double spawner. Skellies and Zombirds. Yep. Look at that. Oh, wow, okay. That is, that is pretty sick. There it is. Yeah, that's, whoop, there's the Skellies. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I was confused. Why did we have mob sounds here? Yeah. Okay, let's try to clear it. Yeah, that's one, two. It's a double spawner for sure. Huh. Funny. Yo, relax. Okay. Where's the... Here is the skelly spawner. Let's just light him up and leave and come back later a bit. Can you reach that? Hello? Are they connected? It seems they are connected even. They fight each other. There's a, some zombies running around. Don't want to go in. The baby zombie is kind of tripping me out. Oh man, it's a lot of them. <laughs> oh, but it's pretty cool. We found a double spawner. I'm pretty sure we can make use of that somehow. For sure, man. That is a great find. No, no, no. Nasty little bugger. Alright, let's quickly go to the nether hub. Talk to my friend Tango here and asked if he could lend us some gunpowder or give sell us some gunpowder and he pretty much said yeah come on man don't even worry about it i got you and then he will bring us two stacks of um, gunpowder now so we can make some tnt to blast our cavern out i'm not i'm not digging that or at least not most of it i had a really cool idea i want to show you in a in a second how we're gonna do the entry of the whole thing so we give the people a nice scare right at the get-go but first we need the tnt so let's hurry. Almost there. Yeah, my, my way to get back and forth is also absolutely crummy. That is another project we need to tackle as soon as possible. Get some ice road going on up here, right? With the new ice as fast as possible. So we can travel faster. Because this this running. I mean it's quick by now. 
nothing compared to what I had to go through before when we were vagabonding like crazy. It's like I traveled thousands of blocks. Uh, but yeah, I'm almost there. Almost. So yeah, we need a better way to get back in force, man. This just takes too long. Um, yeah, definitely. I need to. I am not quite sure where we could get enough ice from. I know Iskal has the big ice biome, but that's not. You know, we can't harvest that. Um, okay, where is he? Um, ah, there. There he is. Thank you. Hello. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ooh, we got too much crap on us. Nice, oof, even more. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. We got we got the gunpowder now. So let's head back and I show you what's up. So yeah, we definitely need to have a direct connection here. The thing is, you know, where will the hub be? I mean, obviously all these ways will be connected, so we probably would come out here with our boat for now and then later you know, see how it's hooked up, but the running back and forth. Do you guys know of any other um, ice biome that is not, uh, you know, occupied by anybody? And we could go there and kind of, you know, cut a bit out with our um, silk touch, so we can make that ice. That would be good. All right, let me quickly rush back and I show you what I've been doing at the cave. All right, so we come up here and we said our entrance will be here. So three by three, another three by three, and we want it to be a nice airlock. So people come in here, boom, time goes by a little bit. Then this hatch opens. They'll be like, whoa, what's going on? And they walk in front and up in front here, I would have solid blocks. It will be a trap door. So they come in here and here we will have the first phantom. And when they come through here, they will be trapped in this room. They can't go back nowhere for like two seconds or three seconds. We have to time it and the phantom will come towards them or be in here. And they're like, no, 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 please. <laughs> trap door opens. They fall down. And we made it a, a decent drop, but not like, you know, super scary. And then uh, they will land in water down here. So here there will be a uh, dimly lit cavern and you know, you have no clue what's going on. I have to do some tests. If I have water, you know, people falling down and touching water down here and then we have a conduit in here, maybe we can improve the vision a bit but still keep it a bit gloomy. And then we want to have uh, more phantoms in here. And the way people will yeah, go about down here with the phantoms, I'm not quite sure, you know. I don't want them to really be able to die here. But on the other hand, this whole idea of the death run with them could also be funny. I'm not quite sure, but I think it's only gonna be a near-death experience, kind of. You know, you you always feel scared in here, but you shouldn't really die. I'm not quite sure, you know, how evil we want to make it. Well, if you have, you know, if you encourage people to sleep in it beforehand so they will not lose, the, lose their stuff, I mean, that would probably make sense. So, okay, let's... Let's stick some TNT in here. Ah, TNT is just fun. Okay. Um, if you put it there, I hope we can ignite all of it. Kablamo. Ah, yeah. All right, that's more like it. And we get a nice shape. So I kind of want, uh, definitely want to give people this feeling, you know, when they're down here, they will wade in, in water and will make their way through. That should also give a, a bit of a, you know, more claustrophobic feeling, being slowed down and all, you know what I mean? So with the water, that is definitely an effect we want to use. We want to use effects of horror movies, pretty much. Uh, that's to say it short. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I just like making caves with TNT. Okay, so I think this should be water level and we already need to start thinking about making kind of a waterway through here that is a bit deeper right maybe there's even parts where you have to, would have to swim through maybe dive through or or something like that you know so here and then you come in here i think we need to have this a little bit bigger 
So let's blast out more in the corners and such and start to create this cave here. So I'll do a bit of, uh, of blasting here, you know, and just slowly eat my way into the rock and until I don't want to do no more. And then um, we'll start doing some redstoning upstairs. You know, we need to construct some some doors and then make a, put a logic to it. So the doors actually behave smart the way we want. Have certain timings and so on going on, but that should be not too tricky to do for us. Oh, look at that. It actually opens up in an existing cave right here. That is not too bad. I was hoping we might hit something natural and then incorporate that a bit. Let's see. Okay, it leads over here a little bit. This leads up. Okay, and there we have a downstairs. Not leading into a gigantic cave system. That's all right. Yeah, we'll definitely try to incorporate that somehow. Maybe we let people come in here, right, in a way, and then um, they drop down a waterfall right there and then continue their way through the spooky caves. That would even make sense, you know? Come in here, you drop, and maybe... Uh, I mean, we definitely want to give it a bit more height. So let's blast out a bit of the ceiling here. Then it would continue down there a little bit. Be a bit of an area, yeah. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I like that. Alright, so for the doors, we need to do some redstone experiments. I decided I want to use falling sand doors. You know, I haven't... Whenever I did 3x3 doors, I made piston doors that, you know, with pistons all around. This time around, I want to use falling entity doors because also we can, you know, put some nice colorful concrete in there later and it look cool. So let's try out and see if we can build a vertical triple extender here in 1.13. You know, things change a lot. There are some issues uh, still with um, observer timings and stuff. And we have to try out and see if we can come up with a design that that works. Um, I remember one I saw a while ago. And I will... Let's see if I remember how that was done. Okay, so there is going to be our top block we push. Yep. So, and then on top there we have the sand. Then pretty much what we need is in the back of it, we need, yeah, we need to get on top there. Let's see. So what we definitely need, a little bit more space here. And then um, we want another sticky piston. Let's see if that does the trick. Clamo. Yeah, that makes sense. And actually, morning, then we need to hook it up made some observers so we need to bring the signal up and out like that and this one needs to be flipped yeah i still think it would be a great idea if you had some device to flip blocks around um, in in vanilla minecraft it would just make sense so we kind of let's delay one two that's okay yeah that kind of makes sense now and now we need we also need to power here on top, so we need something like that. Sky facing the right way. Let's double check. Yeah, that should be good. That gives us the pulse we need for the third block to extend. And up in front of it, we should probably just do something like that. And then come over and yeah. Okay, let's try it out. Um, we need, we should use an observer for input and then also go up. So let's get that. And here we need a repeater. Four ticks probably. Yeah. And then we want an observer on top here. Like so. No, again, the other way around. It's always the same with the observers. Just doesn't make no sense to me how they place then we need a full block there okay that works and then pretty much we need this it's an input yeah and then actually we do need a repeater here like that and now all should make sense now of course we did send a quick pulse in whoop we need to go up and fix it Sorry for the motion sickness <laughs> I just caused. 
jumping around like crazy. Okay, but we should be good if we do this and fall off again. And this is our block that gets extended. And now let's say if we have an input here, let's get a button. Let's see. All right. Oh, that looks good actually. Okay, let's see. Let's stack some sand on there. Let's see if you can get it from here. And see if you can get a nice closure. And... Hey, that's looking good. Opening sequence. Yep, nice. I like the speed of it. I don't want it, you know, I want this slow reveal and then instantly you have the, the thing in your face <laughs> in there. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, I like that. So now pretty much all I have to do is stack these uh, three of these next to each other. And um, yeah, then we need to figure out an input mechanism because what I want here right now, it's based on a single pulse, you know, button press pretty much, but we need permanent on and off, but we should be able to pull it off too and put it in here. Okay, and pretty much the other door is exactly the same thing, uh, but um, kind of, yeah, it needs to be activated and closed in a delayed way. So we can actually try to build the same thing twice already. Hopefully we can fit it in. I might have to flip it and yeah, we'll see. Okay, yeah, let me, let me do some more redstoning here. I'm in the flow. Can we agree on one thing in Minecraft, man? Redstone is amazing. You can do anything you want. You know, dream up something, build it, done. Easy. So, right here we've pretty much made exactly what we wanted. Of course, I need to dress everything up. It was all about functionality in the sequence we wanted. So, let's check it out. So, let's say people want to go for the spooky phantom ride. They agree to go in, we give them instructions. Let's say, walk through the airlock, door closes, next door opens, swiftly walk through the airlock, they know. They go through here, come in and be like, whoa, phantom coming straight at them, freaking out, what do I do? The door is closed, boom, they drop down, they have no clue what the heck's just happened, fall down here, and end up in the lower cave where we will, you know, have the water and all these things, they'll somehow struggle their way through the phantoms attacks swim through here be like oh my god where's the exit where's the exit where's the exit and then eventually we open it up over here or we leave it open all the time i'm not quite sure we need to test it with phantoms in you know and how many and then they make it up here and then whoa let's get out of here Whew. and we're back at the start so yeah i did some redstoning down here just a little bit to control the different parts and so on and I also used a pretty open layout for my redstone didn't try to compact it oh Zizuma was slain by a zombie <laughs> didn't try to compact it so I can still pull off signals in all kinds of sections so I kind of sectioned it off and um, because I want to have some sound cues later and light cues and things like that that need to be installed still but pretty much what we do is here is the start of the sequence and if somebody presses the button upstairs, we do this. Let's just look at it. First door opens, short delay happens, falling edge, second, uh, first door closes again. Delay set up again, second door opens, closes again and the trap door has triggered in the meantime. That's pretty much it and I just saw something here. We have water in there and we're moving sand about but we're moving it quick so it cannot really leak through. But I would prefer if we have a little bit of a safety wall back here behind the sand um, yeah, to make this work. So the drop down obviously um, is into the water and then further down like this because you know we need some space for the contraption here. But I moved the second door mechanism way down so it's out of the way and we get a nice drop at the start, right? And um, yeah, we can look at that. That's a little trick. I just use stacked more sand on it, right? And then you can move it lower if you want to. So let's dig into here. So first door, second door, and here's the trap door. And it's all clean and exactly what I wanted because 
you know, I want the door to be flush here, the drop or the trap door pretty much. So, you know, people walk through and they're like, whoa, oh my God. And now towards this way, you know, we can easily expand it if you want to. We could, we could make it bigger, but here, um, I think this is good enough. And probably we'll have a glass wall right here or something and then use a little trick with the phantoms to make him even more spooky. But we'll try that out next time. And yeah, I wanted it to be flush, right? And you need to make sure they cannot get up here. And then there is the drop right here, boom, into the water, you know, and it's dark in here then already and we make it, of course we dress this up and make it a bit more claustrophobic and you get washed down here and you end up in the cave and then hopefully the action starts right away. So that feels really good. Man, I love redstone. I don't want to do too much redstone here um, on the Hermitcraft server, but I also know, oh, there's another bed and yeah, Wicked is gone, can't find her anywhere. So we also got a lot of new subscribers, you know, coming in from Green and so on, from the tag game and yeah, just from Hermitcraft hype in general. And we've been derping around a lot and, you know, doing some fun stuff. Sure, we made the the um, drowned farm and all that and we, we showed that we got know our redstone at the shop. But, you know, I just want to demonstrate actually I'm also one of the most capable redstone guys here. On the server, in case you don't know, redstone is, my, is actually my passion. But I chose uh, for this season to do it a bit more in a fun way. I did it last year as well, in the last season. Made all kinds of fancy traps and things, new designs, just like this one here. And yeah, we'll definitely, you know, throw in some redstone here and there. But, you know, we want to build and have some fun with our role-playing action we get going on too. The NHO can never sleep. We gotta protect the nature. So thanks for watching, guys. Give me some feedback, what you think about the idea. But um, I think I'm on a good way. Not dressing it up is the next concern. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.